Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm actually going to be doing a collaboration video. This is my first time ever doing it, so I'm really excited. I'm going to be collabing with Loved by Steph. She's another girl here on YouTube. She has awesome videos, lots of beauty related videos, um, lots of hauls, organizational stuff. Her channel is just so awesome. She's actually from London, which I think is so cool. But anyway, so I will have um, her channel linked down below as well as the video that she's going to be doing. We are doing a Valentine's inspired video. We're both going to be doing kind of like sweets and treats. So I decided for my video that I wanted to do a really delicious dessert because it's Valentine's Day and who doesn't want to have something decadent and delicious. So this is actually one of my favorite desserts. I've made it before, but knowing me, you know, I wanted to do something that was a little healthier. Um, so it's kind of a lightened up version of a brownie sundae. It's seriously so good, but is not necessarily as bad if you were to eat um, an actual brownie sundae, but it still is delicious and definitely something you can treat yourself with this Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be linking, uh, or putting a link down below to Steph's channel as well as her um, Valentine's Day collab video. So definitely go check her channel out. She's so adorable and awesome. I think you guys are really going to like her. So if you want to see how to make a lightened up brownie sundae, just keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to make these delicious brownie sundaes, starting off with the brownies. Um, I actually made this dessert last year um, with my boyfriend, and the whole time that I was making it, he was so, making the brownies, he was so skeptical, and he was like, these are going to be gross, I don't know how I feel about it, but then when he finally tasted them, he was like, wow, like, these are actually really good. So, um, since he helped me make them last year, he's going to help me again, so come on in. Hey, hey. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is my uh, boyfriend Matt, he's to sit because he won't be in the frame if he stands. True that. So, um, it's actually making these healthier brownies. Uh, it's probably going to sound really weird when I tell you what's in them, but just trust me, it works out. So, first I'm just using uh, like a box brownie mix because it's honestly just easier. But you can make it from scratch if you please, but I just felt like using the box. So usually you add like milk and eggs and oil, I think, butter, whatever, all that kind of stuff to the brownie mix. But instead of all of that, we're actually going to be using black beans. So that probably sounds really weird, but just bear with me. It totally works out. And it's so much healthier because you cut out a lot of the fat and you add in um, a lot of fiber and protein by using the beans. So what we're going to do is um, drain these beans and then we're going to blend them up to make them into kind of like a liquid paste. Mix that with the brownies and then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so once you have rinsed off the beans, you're going to stick it in a blender or a food processor. Either one will work. We just need something to blend them all up. So then once you have all the beans in the blender, you're just going to fill up the can that they came, uh, came in with water and just add that can to the blender. And it might not be, I would just fill it up until like the beans are kind of covered and take it from there. It's about three-fourths of a can. And then I'm just going to blend this up. It's going to make a paste and then we're going to mix it in with the brownie mix. So once all the beans are blended up, it's going to look like this. It looks really unappetizing, but I promise it will work out in the end. So you're just going to mix all of this together with the brownie mix. And there you go. You have brownies that are ready to go into the oven. are in the oven I'm going to just talk about a couple of the other things I'm gonna be using in the Sunday but before I get into that I do just want to say that these brownies are going to be really fudgy definitely more fudgy than your average brownie um, but that's something that doesn't really bother me especially mix it with the Sunday you can't really tell but so I just wanted to say that because it definitely is a little slightly different than regular brownies because they're not regular brownies but um, anyway, so the other things that I will be using, um, instead of regular ice cream, I'm actually going to be using almond milk ice cream. So basically this is just lower in fat and lower in sugar than regular uh, plain old ice cream. 
Obviously ice cream is made from cream, I mean hello, so it's going to be a lot higher in fat, specifically saturated fat, and that's something you generally want to watch in your diet. It tastes pretty good, it um, obviously doesn't taste exactly like ice cream, but it still is pretty creamy, and again, mixed in with the sundae, you can't really tell, I mean it just tastes like a brownie sundae. For chocolate syrup, because obviously you have to have chocolate syrup on your sundae, um, the one I picked up is just this organic chocolate flavored syrup, this I just got at Whole Foods, um, it's by Santa Cruz. Um, but really, I didn't buy this because it was organic. The main reason I bought it is because it is made with real sugar. Um, when I looked at like the Hershey's brand um, chocolate syrup, which I feel like is the most popular one, the first ingredient was high fructose corn syrup. So that was kind of a turn off to me. I was like, eh, I think I'd rather have one with real sugar. So I went ahead and got this. So this isn't a lighter version by any means. It's still chocolate syrup, but it is made with real sugar as opposed to the high fructose corn syrup. So to me, that's kind of a bonus. And then for whipped cream, I also just got this. It's the Whole Foods brand. Um, it doesn't have to be Whole Foods, that's just the grocery store I was in when I was picking up these ingredients. Um, and I actually got the no sugar added one, which wasn't planned, but I literally just couldn't reach the regular ones. There was like barely any left. So I got this one, but I don't know how it's going to taste. I guess this is definitely a lighter version because it doesn't have as much sugar as the regular one. But ah, I kind of want to see what it tastes like. Let's see if it's good. Tastes like brownie whip. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm, that's some it's good, right? Yeah, it's delicious. I don't know, it doesn't taste like not sugar added. So now the brownies are all cooked. I just took them out of the oven and this is what they will look like. I'm just going to let them cool for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to cut them into squares and then we can finally make our sundaes. Alright, so our brownies are finally done. They have cooled and I have cut them all up. So it is time to finally make our sundae. Alright, so Matt is going to hold the bowl while we build this bad boy. So I'm just going to scoop out a brownie. Then we're taking our almond milk ice cream. Alright, so we're just going to get... Ooh, this kind of melted a little. Mm. A little scoop on there. Oh yeah. So then chocolate syrup. Ah! That was a lot. There we go. And then, last but not least, oh yeah. So this is my delicious lightened up brownie sundae. Is it good? No, oh, it's good. It's good? Oh, it's delicious. There we go. He has spoken, it's delicious, it's his great. boyfriend approved. Yep. So, um, yeah, so it's definitely a lot lighter than a normal brownie sundae, but still obviously very delicious. I want to try it. Delicious and nutritious. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> How is it? How do you feel about it? Yeah. So this Valentine's Day, if you're looking to try something delicious and decadent, but don't necessarily want something that's going to be super detrimental to your diet. Definitely try this out. It really is so easy to put together and it's so, it's so good, right? It's delicious. Mm, okay. it's, just, it's good. <laughs> it's really good. So whether you're spending your Valentine's Day with your significant other or your girlfriends or your guy friends or whatever and you want to make something really good, definitely try this because it's just delicious. And don't forget to check out Love by Steph's video. I'm going to have the link to her video below, and I'm sure you guys will love her just as much as me. Her channel is awesome, so seriously check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and let me know if you'd like to see more videos with uh, Matt here. We already know the answer to that, so. Yeah, <laughs> okay. That's good. No? Yes, 100%. <laughs> no, I don't want to we'll see We'll let it. the people talk. <laughs> okay, well thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>